Welcome back, everybody, to part two of episode two of Booty High Seas Low Expectations. Onwards to Turtle Island, she says, okay, and she yeah. like leads you up again the coast. You go back through the for uh, the small forest, around the corner, and west out to the peak of, of the small island you're on. There's a small gap of maybe 20 to 30 feet, and beyond that, another small island of perhaps only 50 feet wide, 50 feet long, um, is, is, is jutting out of the water. It was perhaps once connected to this island, but it's fallen away over the years due to erosion and currents. And on it, you see six or seven very large turtles. I mean, these things are as big as Kapipi. Um, but they're completely different in, in anatomical design. They're a traditional turtle. They're on their chests. They're sea turtles, you can see, because they have flat uh, arms. Um, but they're on land at the moment. They're all sat amongst sort of a sandy, imagine like a golf bunker. They're in, a, they're in that. There's a bit of grass around them, but it's mainly sand in the middle of this island. They're all happily sat around, sort of. Ah, that is ah, so ah. weird. Some of them are digging holes. That's I can only thing. imagine how you feel right now, knowing yeah. that there's a turtle that's very similar to you, but completely different. Um, do any of them do anything for you? It's not even... A, no, no. Not one of them. Any of them different. sexy? Not, Would you even no. chance it? Sorry? Come on. Choose one. They probably have all the same anatomy, right? Yeah. Would you... Sorry, do you I don't find any of them attractive. Oh. I do. Plus, I've got to be careful. <laughs> Why? I want to live longer than a year. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, 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 you've already meant... Yeah, of course, yeah. you've said this before. That's quite the punishment. You've got to find the one. It's not a turtle. I just feel like while we're on the island, you know. I'm all right, but you go wild if you fancy. No, it. I can hold. No, I, yeah, I'm not going to die in a year's time. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well yeah, anyway, so ignoring the fact that you're basically talking about raw dogging her turtle stock. Yeah. So these were something that we were <laughs> developing as a potential meat and water source. They're famously um, good for both. They have a water bladder inside them that stores water that can wow. be accessed by a sailor looking to cook the meat which I'm told is very delicious. I'm a vegetarian, personally. Um, we uh, tried to use magic to enhance the, their, their size and their growth, of their meat. However, we had some unexpected circumstances. Um, once a year, these turtles lay an egg, and that egg has seemingly random elemental properties. Sometimes the egg is made of stone, sometimes the egg is just an egg. Sometimes the egg is made of gold. Oh, oh my this is where year, you get your gold from. These turtles poop out a little egg, all of their own. They're asexual. They don't require fertilization. They just do it. They pop the egg out. We get to see what it is. The eggs are that of ostrich size as well. Oh. And solid. When's wow. the next egging? Oh, well, they happen all throughout the year. I've named each of these after a month of the year. Okay. Oh, wow. We've only got seven. Seven, yeah. Five died. Limited. <laughs> Five died. Five died. <laughs> Bursting an egg. Yes. Uh. Unfortunately, some of them got fire eggs. Fire eggs is an option. Wow. Fire ah. eggs is very much an option. Acid egg, worst one. Worst cleanup. I can imagine. Oh, yeah, egg. no, acid. You don't want to mess with acid, do you? Lightning egg was another one. Again, oh, nightmare. All the elements. Just, in, just heard a, a thunder crack and steaming turtle. Oh. Bizarre. Did you keep oh, the egg or the is that egg gone as well? Yeah. No, the egg was, was a flash of energy. Right. Uh, that's kind of a cool Anyway, quite, these quite all seem to be fine so far. And you look at them and each of them are like, oh. Time like you can see the come. tension on their face and they're worried that one day <laughs> they'll be the turtle to have the acid <laughs> egg or the fire oh, egg. Oh, like, you boys, boys and girls don't get a chance. <laughs> no. really. You're always going to make them. Uh, well, have you got any spare eggs? No, like good ones? Oh, I've got some spare eggs in the study. Yes, you can have a look if you like. Um, That's fascinating. Actually, a few of these were stolen by the raiders that I had to see off. Um, but I couldn't catch up to them. They're long gone. But they didn't get anything particularly valuable. One of them had a silver egg. Um, another one had, I think it was a, a basalt egg. They thought it was something more important, but a bit of stone. <laughs> 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 jokes, on the, jokes on the turtle. The oh. turtle had to incubate that thing for a year. Yeah. And it just came out just of stone. 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 Yeah. Boring. I'd be so disappointed. I would be too. It's probably better than the lightning, though. Yeah. Oh, still, they, I mean, they're still alive, right? And the fire egg. Yeah, fire egg. Awful. Ah. Well, egg. anyway, that, uh, that concludes the tour of this part of my magical menagerie. Ah. Uh, yeah, I have yeah. some customers coming tomorrow morning. It's about seven o'clock now. The, the sun's starting to go down. Um, the types of folk you deal with mm -hmm. when you're trading. Like, how many people know of this get up, little get up you got here? It's word of mouth. Um, Mikkel, a good friend of mine, as uh, he gives recommendations to people he trusts. They, they spread 
um, to the people they trust. Uh, I, I rarely have problems, often adventuring or exploring parties, such as these, uh, these raiders that came recently, stumble across my island. But on the whole, I am one island among many, many islands in the South Thousand Teeth, so yeah, my recommendation system seems to work okay. Is there any way we can help each other, you know? We got the Waygate access, we got a ship, hmm. can make it worth each other's while, you know? Are you heading back to the Gold Tooth Isle anytime soon? Well, that's where the ship's well, headed. Um, perhaps you can take some cargo for me, collect something for me, who knows? We've got a bit of time. Like, yeah. Mickle's pretty flexible with our return date, so to speak, oh, and he's allowing nice. us to traverse the local area. You very know, good, very Getting good. profits and whatnot as we go. So I'm sure Mickle would appreciate a gift or two, you well, know? I've actually got a delivery of um, alchemical solutions for right. growing right. and enhancing the plants and food production of the Gold Tooth Isle, or indeed any, any island that needs it, but these have been specifically ordered. Uh, I was from? going to use a way gate, but if you're going that way anyway or at some point, I can, I can give you the stock, send you back to your ship, and you can take that for me. Uh, the payment's already been made. I always take payment up front, but I never miss a delivery. And so uh, I can trust you guys, right, to, to deliver for me? Well, yeah. yeah I think so. Yeah, we're What's our going rate? Very trustworthy. What's your going rate? Yeah. You tell Why us. Why are you asking me that? You tell us. Well, you know doing so the much legwork about us. for you. Do you mean, what am I going to pay you what to do it? What would you be willing to pay, yeah, for us to do such a personalised delivery for you? Yeah. yeah should be personalised. Yeah. And you guarantee safe passage, you'll look after it, keep it Absolutely. well. Absolutely, it's not oh, going to go course, on any yeah. like cargo ship like you normally would. It'll just What's be, gold to you? We're delivering <laughs> your stuff exactly. only. Let me come on. Yeah, all the good Bespoke. stuff. Bespoke. Hmm. Let me yeah. see, perhaps I can... We'll get signed come on, Pennywinkle! We'll get signed for it's delivery Perry and everything. Penny, Periwinkle, of course. Peters. Um, Penny, please. I'll give you 1,500 gold if you take the potions and two other shipments. What did you hear just then? Because I heard 1,500 gold. Yeah, I like blacked out a little bit there. That sounds like... 1,500 gold. Sounds like a pity amount. I think oh, he's royalty. Push him for two. This is a lot where we are right now. Oh, I know, but push him for two. That person right, can make on, their own goal. If you think you can, do it. We'll do it for 2k. All in. Persuasion roll. The 12 and... Uh, Plus three. 1750 and you've got a deal. We'll take it. <laughs> What were the Did other that? two What's deliveries that you wanted? That's not bad. Sorry? Well, oh, nothing said, much. She, said there, was two, she said there was some other shipments she wants to uh, There'll be a large amount of uh, magical grain and purified water. Uh, okay. Many. I'm, we're talking 15 to 20 barrels of purified water. Close to three tons of grain. Uh, okay. Magical normal, drops. Normal kind of stuff. They're not... The nothing. potions and maybe a few, you know... Nothing dangerous. Living, right. living, living cargo. Is there anything in the cargo that could eat us? What was that? Or, sorry. Did you not hear that bit? Wait, what was that last bit? She no. muttered living cargo. Well, that's living why I then asked, is there anything that could eat us? Let's get back to the tower, shall we? Yes. yes. We're going to need as many details as we can get, this please. Much. Okay. okay. You walk nice, back to the tower. She invites you into, uh, this time, a slightly different tower to the left of it. Uh, the main building, the large square building, is largely used for storage. It's Rafter upon rafter of stored grain, um, the odd bit of uh, root vegetables, things like that. And then barrels and barrels of this purified water is not only stacked outside in, 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 near the water procurement area, but also in the, in the tower. To the right of that, you have another tower, which unlike the one that had the lab, the gate, and the uh, sort of storage area, this one's clearly more her entertaining room. So the first floor again is a, a much more warmly, you come through the front, door of the second tower, it's much more warmly adorned. There's carpet beneath it, there's some braziers lit and, and burning, um, and, uh, you know, photos and things like that on the wall, but they're not photos, they're mm -hmm. kind of etchings into wood, but very well etched, you know, they clearly use magic to get real fine detail of, of Periwinkle with her arms around, like, you know, you, you notice Mikkel Salgo's in one of them with her arms around, like, hey, and like a few other people that have docked throughout the years, some much more somber, you know, some giant shark people in the background, she's like, and that sort of thing. Um, well, you really get around. Yes, oh, yes. Well, many people come to visit me. I've met many, many people. You may, may one day adorn this wall if you true, prove to be good trading partners. Uh, you also come up on this wall as well. Um, you proceed into the hallway and up. There's a, cent there's a staircase right in the middle of this ground floor of this tower that goes up into the center of the next floor. As you come up into the middle, upstairs, there's uh, tables, sofas, 
Um, there's a bar at one side of the tower. Um, it's almost like a mini inn. And uh, the next floor up is segmented into uh, sort of three rooms. So one room, you've got her room, which is like a master bedroom. And then the two other sort of thirds of the, of the tower are guests for guests, people. The, one of them has bunks in, one of them has a few sort of beds. I thought there'd be a weak point in this whole operation. You know, you were very like focused on the transmutation sort of thing, very much into yeah. your projects. Do you forget about the customer side facing oh, things? Oh, but crazy, I'm blown away. Frankly, package. we're in the people sorted. business. I'm in the people business. Yes. Hey, uh, Winkle, you never explained uh, once the semen sucks. It's very, very, very informal. What did you call me? Oh, sorry, Winkle. I'll let it pass. You never fully explained once the semen's been sucked, where does the semen go? The, the, the semen... Uh, I'm just curious. They, they degrade. The, the coral itself absorbs oh, all the nutrients. Feeds them. The calcium in the bones nice. helps to build new coral. I was yes, just like, curious. It's just just like curious food. as we were going up, I saw it again and I was like, oh. It's just like food. What happens to the coral? They yeah. dissolve essentially inside the tubes over time. Amazing. Like, can you, Amazing. Have you noticed Quite the it growing? Quite the artist. The coral? Yeah. Oh yes, it grows very well. Mm. Mm. It's interesting actually, I've broken off pieces of it to examine and um, experiment with and it has some interesting magical properties. Oh my. Things have many ma interesting magical properties if you look close enough. Then you, you're the one that kind of fuses them together. No, like no, it's a naturally occurring. It's a naturally occurring. No, no, that's a, that's a normal rabbit. That's a normal rabbit. That that's looks not like a normal, normal rabbit to me. That looks like a normal. From where I'm from, that's what rabbits look like. Why is the tail? What, the what about the feathered rat? That? That's a bit weird. <clears throat> the tail. I haven't worked out why that thing's got feathers. So you haven't been making these things? No, no, no. I've just been trying to understand them. How much for the rabbit? How, you want to Terrence. buy the rabbit? I had a little. Attachment. We wouldn't mind Terence. The rabbit's yeah. not for sale. Terrence you called it Terence Winkle. So are you saying Terence Winkle or you're saying Terence Winkle? Terence, comma, Winkle. Right. Yes, I called it Terence. Nice. Oh, uh, you call it Terence? Who? Huh? You call it Terence too. I thought that was our name. You call it Terence? <laughs> this is where you got the name that's from. That's where from. Oh, Perry Winkle great said name. That that's it suited so well, I thought that was you. It was, um... Oh, right. Anyway, the rabbit's away at this point. Now, the rabbit... We can talk about oh. the rabbit later. Okay, sit down. I'll get you a drink. On, Give you a silver piece for the rabbit. Not enough. <laughs> <laughs> Far from enough. Right. Not for Terence. Terence soothes me. Calms me. All right, well. His horns. They make me laugh and titter as he jumps around the room like a little stag. Oh, don't. Okay. I, you're making me miss him. He's got a tail like a horse, which for such a low-down creature makes absolutely no sense. It trails around him like a wedding bride. Are any of these creatures for sale? No. None of them? Not even the weird, like, for hobgoblin sale. monkeys? The hobgoblin monkeys are Slash part assistant. of the cargo I wish you to take. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. I needed to take them to my master, uh, my teacher, in the Gold Tooth Isle. He's expecting them for retrieval of our apprentice. We're going to try and extract what's left of him from the monkeys. Oh, there. You're wrong. Mankeys. Monkeys. Monkeys. Sorry, I call them mankeys. Mankeys, of all course. Of him. Because <laughs> they're all gross. Of them. Yeah. Sorry? What, what if they can't extract all of him? What yeah, happens? what if there's like a couple missing? He'll do his best. Right. Honestly, this is You don't seem island. that perturbed by your intern being He was an mankey. asshole. Then right. why do you Total want him back? Asshole. The master does. Sorry? Why do you want him back? The master sent him. He did it as a favour to one of his rich friends. He said, right. oh yes, I'll send your son for tutoring with one of my greatest students, me. And uh, he appeared through the teleportation circle one day with a note from my master. Uh, however, it became clear quite quickly that the boy's ambitions uh, exceeded his intellect, shall we say. Are the monkeys vengeful? Have you ever seen them to be quite vengeful or maybe vicious? They were bred by my apprentice to be very docile and non-combative. They yeah, have never laid a hand on me or any other person. That's all I need right. to know. I wronged them. We really have wronged, wronged them. We've all wronged them. You might need to do a bit of diplomacy on our behalf yeah. to get them on board because I don't think they were best yeah. of friends Is right there anything now. they enjoy? Paste. Maybe paste? Fruit paste. Fruit paste. Fruit was paste. that what was in the... Yes. Oh, okay. It was just fruit paste. All right then. It's, it's quite nice. Oh, you yeah, tried it? Yeah, sounds well. He's had a little bit of that. Had fruit to assess the, oh, you uh... tried it. Oh, what's in it? Oh, how long ago did you eat it? How long have we been touring? I did it as soon as I walked down the stairs before you turned back from a whale into a, a person. A bit while ago. Has yeah, your biology that. changed? Has anyone been thinking about you changed? I feel all right. Or... Okay. Why? What have I got to be worried about? They're looking at. Why are you looking at your it, wrist? At your well, I'm going to have to refill the bolts. Ah. Oh. Oh. Right. Yeah, you really had us going there oh, for a second. Then, yeah. yeah, well. It's just fruit paste. Calm down. Okay. Uh, right, Brilliant. sit down. Drinks. And she um, snaps her fingers and, like, cuts just whoosh, 
off of the oh. off, off of the little bar she's got. It's all very showy. Stop, it's all very showy. You yeah. could just have. I could do all of this. I'm though. sure you could. I hope you know that I could do this. I believe you. I've just seen cardboard cutouts. It's, cut below, out it's illusions. below me. It's below me. The right. big stuff though. That's pretty. Yeah, I mean, that's good. Fair enough. All right, we're going to need like a stock list and uh, destinations, names, that sort absolutely, of thing. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, okay, right, so she gets together a list for you of what you're doing. Your first and main shipment is um, three barrels of my crop growing brew. Uh, this is the things that make my crops grow so damn well. We're going to try using it on the mainland, my master is. Uh, he will uh, try employing it for some crops there to help boost the population. It's already a busy place and they're struggling to feed everyone. Have you created a brand name for this product? Uh, not as yet. Have you got any suggestions? Oh, okay. uh, McDonald's. Why McDonald's? It sounds, there's a ring to it. That sounds real nice. Yeah. Sounds what, the good. purple liquid that helps grow crops you've suggesting is called? Just sounds, oh, a, just the a name, name just came to me. It came to your head. Never heard it before. Look, it's never going to work. Okay. It's going nowhere. What crop, about? Crop grow then. It crop. is. Crop grow it is. Magic grow? Ma magic grow? Miracle grow? Miracle, Miracle grow. grow. I like Perfect. it. Perfect. Right, three containers of Miracle grow. Okay. And that's to your master on the Golden Two Stars. Yes. yes. It's not Mickle, is it? No, his name is Flagan. Flagan. Master Flagan. Okay. He's a gnome. You we recognize him by his bold head right. with tons of hair coming out the side above his ears. Oh, oh, nice. Completely smooth on top. Huge explosion of hair on either side. Just to clarify, we shouldn't drink this Miracle Grow. Uh, I would not drink the Miracle Grow. It's highly toxic for human beings. Right. Have you Stop. tried to drink it before? I wouldn't. I know what's in it. It's got far too a higher concentration of compounds that are good for you, good for plants, but not good but for you. Have you never felt like being big? Bigger than you've there been There can be before. a whale. I know, but bigger than a whale. Bigger than a whale? Is it a polymorphing? Well, I'm just wondering if this is... This is the stuff that could get you really big. No, no. Uh, do an arcane check. Seven. You think she's using a spell? Plus three. Uh, plus three, that's ten. Yeah, I've already got that. I got your sheet in front of me. Thank you. Um, it's a spell of some kind. It's a magical power. It's magic she's using. Just like you used to summon What, using fire. it on what? The... Herself, the polymorph. Oh. You're right, talking yeah. about how she becomes really big? Yeah. Or the juice? Well, I was wondering if the juice gets you really big. So, the Miracle Grow yeah. is basically a form of magical fertilizer. Okay. It makes the crops grow big, strong, and tasty. My ability to change my size and shape is a magical ability okay. called polymorphing. Brilliant. Which I'm a master of, by the way. Well, you clearly. Yeah, yeah, you impressive keep saying stuff, Impressive stuff, impressive yeah. stuff. As you're saying this, she slaps down two stones in front of you. These are smaller than the stone you saw earlier. Right. Um, and one is, is an orangey clay color, and the other is a sort of deep blue. I call these pocket rocks. You can use uh, a spell, and she shows you how to, this, this way of tapping the rock. So it's like a two-finger tap on the rock, and um, out of it, pop. Uh, she sort of puts it in front of her like this, taps it, and out pops a barrel. Oh my! Magically, Lord. one of these rollerized barrels just boom. What the hell? Into existence. These are pocket rocks. I use them to store and transport things without using massive amounts of space. Oh. That's incredible. Each pocket rock can store ten barrels or their equivalent weight in grain or vegetables, which is a lot. 10 barrels is sort of almost, you know, five tons of weight. Uh, each barrel is about 500, cage, uh, 500 uh, liters of water. I think these are quite rare. And they're just all inside that little... These rock. rocks, they don't, they'll, they'll stop working eventually. They, they, don't, they only have about a week's worth of time before I need to re-enchant them with this ability. But um, you should be able to make the distance here from the gold tooth isle within a week. Um, and this should help you easily store and transport the 10 barrels of water and um, yeah. 10 barrels of wheat and or grain. And all the mankeys. Yeah, uh, by, by saying all, we saw a lot on that island. Like a, a lot. Few, yeah, a fair few, weren't there? We have a caravel. Like, how much are they going to be on our ship invading it, like taking up all the space and all that? Basically, start off with 16 mankeys. Four of them didn't make it through the pool because they were asleep. Right. And um, I think you killed two of them. Certainly. Um, so 12. we're down to, I think, 10 mankeys in total. That's how many you're going to have to transport. 10 mankeys. 10? Only 10? Can they carry? That's how many we saw. Well, maybe they can carry things. Oh, is there more? Is there? Is there more than 10? Oh, I believe last time I checked, there was at least 14 on the island. Oh, well, that's that's some of them probably a bit I didn't shy. See that many, though. I imagine. 
Yeah. yeah. Do we have to round them all up, or should we just take the ten that we've seen? Honestly, I, I don't. At this point, I'm sure ten is enough for my master right. to extract Good. some semblance of that little asshole that was my apprentice. Do they need to be alive? Just the Mancus. Yes, yeah. so it's very important they stay alive. If oh, they start to okay. degrade, there'll be less material for, oh, for my master to work with, and yeah. uh, it just gets more and more complicated from Maybe there. Maybe in the cage. Yeah, can we cage them? Ha! Glad you asked. My elementals be working on some form of storage for the monkeys. Uh, we can't put them in one of these pocket rocks because they will. Go ask, yeah. There's, there's, there's no oxygen. Right, they just this die. Is, right. This is basically a bag of holding in a rock. I see. Um, so yes, not going to work well for the monkeys. However, I will create some form of, or I'll get my elementals to put together a very smart form of compact cage where they can all click together. And, and the monkeys can go in that way. I'll, I'll whip you up a potion to keep them nice and docile. How about that? It'll be a spray. You They're going to be drugged as well. Brilliant. Jeez. Yes. Brilliant. Perfect. Well, if that elemental, that big stone one, is carrying all the buckets, you've got one like that that can help us move all this stuff. Uh, the two pocket rocks are tiny. So yeah, 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 yeah. I meant like the monkeys the... loading the monkeys and the and the potions. Yes, yeah. yes. I'll, I'll get one of the, the, the elementals. Today. All right. And you say seventeen fifty for all these delivered. Seventeen fifty gold. Yes. And that's upon our return to you. That's upon your arrival at the gold tooth owl. I'll send can, a um, I'll send a, a message to my master. You said you always do payment up front. I always take payment up front. Yeah, so do we. Oh. Half now, half later. Yeah. Best right, we'll I can take do. That. Yeah, we'll take that. Okay, that's so, fair. Yeah, that's fair. Deposit. Yeah. Okay, right, so she gets out a contract. Ah, I keep this qu contract paper just for contracts like this. Wow. This is a binding contract. Of course you know that all contracts in the gold tooth owl are guaranteed. Uh, by various mercenary companies who happily take up uh, contracts that have been broken or unfulfilled and hunt those oathbreakers. Oh. You know that, of course, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I don't well, know what's yeah, with these, like, with subtle those, threats going those on. Without yeah, saying, really. Really. Well, I just want to know that, you know... I want to be up on that board with everyone else, yeah. you know, having a good yeah. time, yeah. smiling. And we haven't taken a picture. We haven't taken one, yeah. And there's we take one? not a huge amount that suggests you won't make that. Of course. Some stuff I am a little worried about. So if you'd like wow. to sign and she reels out and then, no um, chance of reading all oh, that today. Oh, wait, hang on. I just, I just saw a bit where it. they said they can turn you into something. It just says essentially what you've promised to deliver, how much for the payment terms, and then, yeah, a lot of cryptic text that you don't quite understand. Is there anything we should worry about in this contract? Like the small print? I think uh, we can turn this. Can you just give us a TLDR of like, where are you what you says? That? Somewhere in the middle. Oh, this is just um, uh, give me an insight check. Roll a d20 and I'll add your insight. Uh oh, four. That 18? Was, it was oh, four. Oh, it was four, was yeah. it? Damn. Seems good to me. Kapipi, you're just like, yeah, no, contract looks good. You've, right. seen, a, you've seen some of these contracts as a, as a band member before as well, like, you know, yeah. your previous You've signed those without reading them. Yeah, it looks, looks fine, guys. Nothing nice. to worry Maybe about. Maybe just skim yeah. through it and read the entire document. Yeah, go for it. Uh, Roll a d20. Yeah. 15 plus, what, investigation or? Insight. Insight is... Yeah. Or investigation. So 15. Investigation is plus three. Okay, yep. Yeah, you... you it seems above board. I mean, it, it's all boilerplate stuff. Um, yeah. It's like I said, lays out the, the, the what you're buying, right. what, what sorry, what she's paying you to deliver ultimately. How about a nice warm meal and a bed for the night? Of course, just chucked in yeah. as a sign of goodwill. Yeah. That's very nice of you. Yeah. I'll see. Appreciate the that. Sweets here are amazing. They look really good. They do. And we'll get you back to your ship in the morning with your goods in tow. And, and you can deal with you. your new customers. And I can deal with the customers that are arriving in the morning. Absolutely. Well, it's been a pleasure establishing this trade with you. Oh, to, yeah, I look has. forward to a fruitful and beneficial uh, partnership going forward. Once we've completed yeah. this basic contract for you, we're looking to upgrade, maybe get another ship. Wow, I mean, yeah. I mean, we maybe get another total. future. I love an entrepreneur. Oh. Okay, guys, you wake up in the morning. You've had, <sighs> unless you wanted to do anything in the night. Did anyone want to get up in the middle of the J -O night? J-O to like K-O. You J-O to K-O. Who sings the song? Did you J-O to you K-O? No, I just hear him and kind of like jump to try bed. to. Oh, come on. You come pretend on. it's the monkeys in the next tower over. It's the monkeys. It's the monkeys. It's the monkeys. It's oh, not. Why does that make it better? <laughs> why does that make it better? Is that? Ice. In your shell? <laughs> Into nice. my shell. And just, Sleeps uh, in his shell. He can sleep wherever you want. It's so quiet in there. Yeah. Can't hear it. You wake up in the morning, the glorious call of the seagull sitting on the window of your bedroom in this tower. You've had a good sleep, you've had a long rest, and uh, you That's are feeling lovely. refreshed and excited for the day. Wow. A cool morning breeze rolls in through the open windows as once again the sunny sky lovely. above you. Uh, nice. The blue sea stretches out until it meets the sky and blurs in between. Uh, you prepare to set out for the day. You know you have 
the uh, barrels of miracle Grow, the two pocket rocks that store 10 barrels each, 10 filled with purified water, 10 filled with grain and seeds. Um, and you have this new contract that you have to take back to the Clumsy Goose, back through the teleportation circle. Uh, so yeah, do we know where all this stock is? As you come out of your rooms and down back into the foyer sort of area where the sofas and the bar and everything was, there's a humble breakfast prepared for you. Wow. Um, this just a few decadent. bits, a nice know. bit of uh, coffee, um, which is a, something traded a lot well, around yeah. um, And a plate of grains and fruit, and what you think might be a little bit of turtle meat. It's a little bit of turtle meat, right? Oh, yes. Oh. Periwinkle appears behind you, not like magically, just you didn't see her. Oh yes, yes, this is one of this was the acid turtle. Um, died a few weeks back, but we thought waste not, want not. Try this meat. The acid isn't in the meat, is it? No, 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 we cut around the acid. This is good turtle, not bad turtle. I'm gonna try it. I'm, I'm hungry as hell. Mm. It's delicious. It's oh. one of the tastiest meats <laughs> you've had. Mm. It's in a, um, a soup form. So it's like a, a nice turtle soup, little chunks of turtle in it. Little bits of bamboo shoots, maybe a little bit of coconut. Do you spice. want to sit on a different table? I, um, you want some? I, uh, I, you want some? I'm not being rude, uh, really Periwinkle, good. but um, I'm oh, gonna... now they're similar to you. Oh, no, I just, oh, I, now I, just I get don't it. feel like eating it. This you pick and oh. choose. Oh. Stick with the grains and the coffee, just for oh, just my tummy. Oh, of course. Oh, would you judge I'm, me for eating lobster? Because I do, and I have. I'm not judging judging anyone. And I've eaten goblin. I think I've just eaten goblin. I think it's just a bit of portal sickness or something. I don't know. That's fine. Oh, I should have thought. And she takes away the bowl Dicky and she tummy. comes back a bit later, um, like a few, uh, about a minute or two later. And there's a lot more like greenery and seeds and salads in the bowl. And like there's right. some nice deep dark greens that you might enjoy. A few chunks oh, of fruit be lovely. and oh, some seeds. Lovely bits of fruit. Here we go. I'll, I'll nosh down on this. So my new business partners, did you sleep well? Oh, like Just a, about babe, yeah. like a like This a guy goblet. was wanking. What? Didn't need to say that. Sorry. He was jerking it. That's not the worst thing that's happened up in those bedrooms. Oh, very well. <laughs> like, what happened? What happens? He winks. That's it, a story what does for that mean time. then? No, I, I see the, that's I saw the wink. That's a story for another time. I just time. wanted to elaborate just before that's we go. That's a story for another Look, time. Look, we've been out to see for a long time. time. Perhaps. I want the story. Stories for another time. Fair enough. He's stuck in an NPC loop. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to use my imagination again. <laughs> now, the stock. Yes. We're pretty strong, hard wearing wonderful people, but uh, if you've got some elementals to do the job for us, that would really speed things up. We can get on our way. Oh, of course, before you woke, I had some elementals take up uh, everything you need up towards the teleportation Amazing. circle in the other tower. Oh. They have the three barrels of Miracle Grow up there for you already. Uh, she hands you the, back the two pocket rocks. These are now filled with the required goods. Two taps. Have they packaged up the mankeys? The really... mankeys are caged up in their travel cages, ready to go by the teleportation circle, And they're not yes. going to wake up halfway through the... You said you're going to drug them quite heavily. Or uh -huh. Yes, I them. did, didn't I? Yeah. I'll have to stop at my lab on the way up to the tower. All right. Oh. Oh. Excellent. Well, I think everything's in order. We can I kind of be on our way. It's just, yeah, this has been a very uh, pleasant meeting. Uh, what you've got here is a fantastic setup, and I think we'll, Great. we'll definitely want to visit again yeah. after we drop off our... Well, we'll have to come back for payment, Oh, of we? course we will, yeah. I mean, well, about that, actually. No, that's that, the master, we... right? Sorry? They're going to pay us when we deliver it to their master. Right. And you, did you, did, did we receive payment for the first time? We got half. We got a half. You've got that, okay. So you have 875. Should I take it? That's fantastic stuff. You take stuff. that. You yeah, be our It's 1750, so half. Yeah, 875. I got no pockets on right. my shell. Thank you, you got, for your... You can go right in it. Why can't you just put some money in there, too? I've got my bedroom inside there. We have 900 gold exactly. Well, I've got 900 gold exactly on me right now. Don't that say it so loud. Say it so loud. Well, I mean, it's yeah, 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 just there. Fine, friend. Well, you weren't just... doing too well before you met me then, were you? Lucky you. Oh, no, no, well, the, the, the ship. We just did a bit, a load of upgrades, renovations ship, and all yeah. that. Anyway, uh, yeah. we put everything back into the business because we care so much about our business. I yeah. can't wait to see your ship. It sounds fantastic what you've done to it. Well, oh. come on through. Have a brief look before yeah, your new you customers time? come in. Oh, I could. Yes, I'd like to do that. Thank oh, you. Oh, wow. Brilliant. Come um, with us. So, yeah, we start early, walk downstairs, take you around, or you climb up the other tower next to it. You come up through. She stops in her lab. She's jingling around with some bottles, puts them in a sprayer, like a tss, 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 like an old perfume sprayer with a big, like, tss, tss, tss. she's like, tss, tss, tss. <coughs> oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. That should, that should do the job. And um, she gives you this bottle of like mankeys. She calls oh, okay. it mankeys. Mankeys. Especially <laughs> any potions that could maybe I don't know, g us up, give us like some kind you of. You want boost. a high? Well, I'm just well. I'm just uh, we're out well? to see. A stimulant. I'm just wondering if there's anything, any kind of 
magical potions that could maybe make Tyus us feel... Tyus wants some Viagra. Well, uh, uh, give me well, a persuasion check. Ooh. Let's say 19. Plus three. Well, it's funny you should ask. I've actually been working on something quite interesting. Ooh. And she turns to you and there's this um, this vial she's holding up. And it's uh, it's not very large. It's stoppered at one end and then a flat bottom and it's just a tube. I call this liquid haste. Oh. This is something I've been trying to, to bottle for some time. A sip of this and for a minute, you'll move faster than a blur. You'll be able to take an extra action. Oh my. It'll be harder to hit. It's extremely potent. That, that seems thing. very good. Thank you. Oh, that, that's, can we, and we can have that as a, as a, as a parting gift or is, this, is there a cost to this? For you, Titus, it's a freebie. Amazing. Just don't oh. come back to me oh. if it's got any Amazing. bad effects, oh. okay? Well, I guess we'll Still an experimental know. serum. If I'll he's try to keep, a freebie. It, keep steady. You sure you don't want to part with Terence? We, we, take him on a, we could take him on a little trip for you. He's never making it back alive. 13 plus... Oh, you've got plus 7 persuasion. I do indeed. He's a, he's a bard, isn't he? You'll promise you'll take good care of him. Yeah. Smarter than he seems. I'll she seems really torn up by Terence. Did do any but tricks? I feel like I had a real connection with him and I'll... I'll you know you're not supposed to keep rabbits in small hutches like that. They're supposed to roam around a bit more. I had to keep him in a small hutch, otherwise he'll bloody fly off. Has fly. he... Uh, he can fly? Do you know that about this? Oh. Who didn't work that bit out? He doesn't have wings. Did you try pulling on his tail? <laughs> you wouldn't dream of it, would you? No. You didn't try pulling Terence's long, lustrous tail. What happens if I pull his tail? Right now. And she walks over, gets Terence out, she's giving me a stroke, and then she just gently just goes, dunk, and Terence goes, Bleh! and then just like a helium balloon, <laughs> suddenly, starts, <laughs> suddenly starts floating up, and she's, just, and, and, and she's just holding him like this, and he's just like, I, <laughs> Terence, it's so you think you've seen see everything, you right? I didn't know that, but I will, I will show him the world that we see, at least. Give him a little adventure before bringing him back safely. I'll guard him with my life. You'll bring him back? Yes. After the delivery is done, he'll come back. My master might be able to send him through the ways, portals, perhaps? I'll bring him back. You promise? Yeah, I just want to spend some time with the little boy. <laughs> Don't you start crying, I'll start he's crying gonna, too. He's going to see so much of the world. <laughs> and I, as he's like... And <laughs> like literally bobbing like a, like a helium balloon. And like the uh, periwinkle like pulls him down. She's like, "You'll be good now. <laughs> no drifting off." Don't, I'm well. I, I almost don't want to take him now. Right, you take him. He's still Terrence. just hovering there. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> Terence. <laughs> oh, bizarre I'll, little creature. I'll tie oh, him wow. to Michelle so he can't float away. Okay. How do you, you turn it off? He'll fart Not eventually. Like that. Hey, I'm a bit of a dabbler in the old elixirs and stuff myself. You got an empty flask? Yes. Yeah, she, 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 I'll give you something in return to like, you know, make you feel a little bit better. Okay. And I'm going to touch it and once a day I can do an experimental elixir. Okay. I don't know what it's going to do. But I roll a d6. Yeah. This is an artificer thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll give this back as a gift. So I've rolled a five. So that means I've made um, an experimental elixir of flight. The drinker gains a flying speed of 10 feet for 10 minutes. A flight potion? I've just made you a flight potion. Oh, Terence, I could have soared with you with this. 10 minutes. Not ten, for long, but ten long. 10 feet as well, it was a very slow drift. Oh. But hey, maybe you can like drift out of your tower or something and overlook your operations for different, fun. Different type of high. That would be wonderful. That would be wonderful. I'm sure you can make something more powerful, but there you go, a little party gift. Oh, thank you. Well, it's a nice gesture. She pockets yeah. it in one of her like many like potion things, she like, slides it in. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Oh, it's gone down. <laughs> oh, that's you doing that. I thought it was a door creaking. <laughs> no, that creak was over there. Oh, right, oh, okay. Right. <laughs> like, is the front door open? No, no I closed it. Okay, no, right, weird. <laughs> so there's a fart sound <laughs> yeah. and Terence drops down into your arms. Oh, Terence. Oh, it it's not permanent then. No, it looks oh, like he right. just farts it out again. No, I was experimenting for a little while to see if I could enhance or harness this, this natural levity Terence seems to have, but really it was the levity of the soul that was the true gift to my research. God damn, that is so bullshit. It's insane. Well, should we go really? to the teleportation circle? <laughs> yeah, let's go. This, this could go on for ages. 
It's a friend, friends we made along the way. <laughs> <laughs> Go over that bullshit before. Well. Uh, Some real green soldiers said that stuff and they got their heads blown off. What? And they never made it home to their families. The goblin said this. No, I was with the hobgoblin crew. Well, you'll bring Terence back in some form. Where's he gone? I've got him. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, you've, still, you've still got his mane like, tied around one of your straps, but it's long enough that you can kind of hold him. You could even probably put him on your shoulder if you needed to. So, so he's a shoulder rabbit. He can be a and shoulder rabbit. I can tie his tail to my shell, can I? Yeah. you got some straps. So that stuff. he's never going to fly away. Hopefully not. So I just pull him out and that'll make him float and then he'll fart down. You back yank on. his tail, makes him fart internally, which then or makes the gas gather internally inside him. Makes him float, but as soon as he farts, he drops back down again. You know, if they float um, under any other circumstances, maybe when orcs are near, <laughs> perhaps <laughs> signal rabbit. Something just—I don't know. I mean, Holy, I, my rabbit is inflated. <laughs> I would just be curious if it suddenly started floating. If we should start worrying. Well, there could be some sort of magical apparatus or system oh. you could put in place where it could be the signifying part. But no, oh my goodness. it just does it when you make his tummy rumble. Oh. Uh, there are similar animals in the world that have this, this gaseous substance as a, a form of great land lizard that, uh, if fed the right things, can produce a similar effect. That's beyond uh, what we're talking about here. Let's climb up this tower to the teleportation circle where everything has been prepared for you to go on your journey, shall we? Fantastic, yeah. yes. Right, you find yourself back up in the room you originally appeared in. All of the alcoves that house the monkeys are now empty. In front of the place where you came in, where you notice beneath the straw is a fully marked teleportation circle, um, there is a, like, cubes. These cubes, these, these sort of wicker cubes that have been made out of strong-looking um, palm or something like that and then rigged together on top of each other. So you can take them apart or they can click together to allow you to carry them. The, so the, mon the mankeys hop in pretty small boxes. Like they're as compact as they can be without it being battery like- Battery mankeys. Yep, yeah, it's a battery mankeys, definitely. Oh, we just need to make sure they get there alive, not necessarily happy. I'm, that apprentice was a real dick anyway. So. Fair enough, yeah. Anyway, and then um, she walks over and um, takes that potion back from him. She goes, the monkey's like, and then like they just slump down. God, it's gonna be so much easier. They're a nightmare when they're awake. And she gestures to an elemental that's been sort of faded into the rocks to the right of you. Suddenly, what you thought was like wall um, is in fact like this bouldering Whoa. elemental that's just several right there the whole time boulders and uh, like strapped together by magical force. It's got these sort of hands that are like round and then just like individual shards of rock are its fingers and that sort of thing. Oh, it's trying to speak, but you didn't give it a mouth. <laughs> yeah. It hasn't got a mouth. They're really annoying. They're really, really way too talkative rock <laughs> elementals right. if you get, if you get them going. Yeah. yeah, mumblers, ramblers. Um, okay, th th this elemental will help you carry the, um, the mankeys to your ship. Um, and uh, another one comes out of the wall, sort of the, the rocks and the wall sort of thin a little bit as, as, as rock comes out and uh, it forms another smaller elemental. This one will help you carry the uh, the, the, the bar barrels of Miracle Grow. Thank you. Are we ready to depart? Absolutely, yeah. So, yeah. Will we need any of that Mankey Tranquilizer en route? Oh, oh yes, of course, and she gives it back oh, to the Titan Snakey yeah, just in yeah, case yeah, it works out. Good. Um, careful yeah, with that stuff. Also, sometimes it's I struggle perfect. to sleep, so a little... I'll I'll spray itself with the Mankey well. perfume. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No side effects, I'm sure. Well, it smells like shit. Okay, let's get working. Let's She's like, she pricks her hands up in the air like this, like... <laughs> she claps. Well, we're not and, going through the way gate. <laughs> uh, the, the, the teleportation circle, then the, the same sort of effects happens with the way gate. So she claps her hand, energy shoots forward in like a blade shape and then opens wide. And then it's just a golden sheen of light. Um, and then she just gestures to the elemental that sort of just calmly starts picking up the mankey crates, walking through the light, coming back moments later, picking up another one. After you. All right. Ugh. You step through. <laughs> You get, you get sucked through moments, you feel oceans rushing beneath you, you, see, you momentarily see the island disappear in what feels like sort of the, the bottom of your vision behind you, and you fire out the other end. All four of you come through. She seems to kind of help mold the spell, so it's quite a lot, quite an easy transition for you this time, so you can literally step through, and the next step you take, you find your feet hitting the sandy cobbled stone of the peak of, of that, that mountain once mountain. again, right. uh, as you all step through. The mankeys have been piled up in a corner, um, and the three barrels are there as well, and the elementals have done their work transferring it through. Make it through all right, Terence. He's on my shoulder. Terence is fine. Yeah, he's a little wide-eyed, and his hair's like blasted back a bit, um, but uh, he's, he's right, fine. Terence, we'll teach you to speak one day. It's going to well, be some well, work. Well, you can't 
Titus speak with it. What would you like me to say? Get like a basic gist of what it's doing. Check that Titus he's can only speak with things that have a swimming speed. Oh, that's oh, right. so This underwater. rabbit ain't much of a swimmer. Oh. Unless he uses speed with animals, which he speed, doesn't I mean, have. Everyone has a speed. It might just be that they drop by his tail. Slow. <laughs> It's because he's a mer person who yeah. can speak with things that can use the sea. I let the monkeys go because I was just like, you know what? We'll, we'll, they can swim. We'll try another day. We'll try another they day. They can okay. swim. I mean, I the want monkeys to say, can swim. I can ask if it's alright. You want to ask? I the mean, monkeys. I just want to oh. check that he's okay with me being his, uh, you know, his, his dad for a little bit. You're just gonna have to read animals' faces like everyone else does. Yeah. Like learn him. Yeah. Apparently, don't want to know. I think so where's this yeah. wonderful new painted ship of yours? Oh, it's quite hard to see, isn't it? It's right on the it's edge. On the, it's very hard. Down to see. that way somewhere. Wait, where is it? She looks out over, and you do too now, you look out over the edge of the cliff of this hill that you're on, out over to where the, your boat is. And two ships are now docked beside it. Uh, they are a similar size to your ship. Um, they appear to be what you know as sort of these Corsair-like characters. They are ships of fortune, they are ships of opportunity. They're also the ships that tried to rob Periwinkle. Oh. She chased them off, but of course she chased them off in this direction. They've now come across this island and found a ship anchored without any crew. They're crawling all over this ship at the moment. Our rooting stuff. through your stuff. Those Corsairs again, she says as well as you say our stuff. No. We need to deal with this now. You got to get your rifle. Well, the rifle's on the ship. The rifle's in the crow's nest. Oh, oh, no. I know. What if it's like two cruiser ships? What are we going to do? Could do some wizardy stuff. Some of the stuff I can do is, is dangerous. And it could set the ship on fire. What well, set their ships on fire? Yeah, we not don't want to set our ship on fire. Well, yeah, but they're on our ship. Yeah, but then we don't get our ship back either way. Well, you one know, we one need of to get the ship's now. captains noticed when the portal opened. The hubbub and sound and light from this tower. Even though it's quite a few, you know, few hundred feet several, you know, three, four hundred feet from them now, at least. One of them, you know, a lookout saw it and related to his captain and he saw the light of the pool opening and closing. The other crew haven't quite seen it yet. They're all quite, everyone's quite cl calmly perusing your ship. They think they found an uninhabited ship. Um, you see them, um, you even see one of them hauling up some of the bits from what down in, in your hull. Um, so they've also, they're trying to detach uh, the little, uh, little nipper uh, from its mounting point on the front of your ship. Not little nipper, you bastards! Guys, they're how just far away are we? Guys, they're gonna feet away. Frog. I'm um, running. You are a five to ten minute jog from, oh, okay. from getting down to the ship. Or if you can fly quicker, but Guys, to get back yeah. down to where you We're are. We're gonna have to shell our way down. Just mount on top of me, I'll flump. And okay. we'll slide down this path. Okay, right. yeah, let's, let's, let's do this. Let's ride. ride. Me. Unless there's anything that... Um, uh, pe Perry. Penny. As you've been talking Winkle. about this, you Source turn out. around, she's gone. What? Where's Penny Winkle gone? The portal closed. <laughs> what? Perry Winkle's disappeared. They just left us to it. Oh, we've got to deal with this somehow. That's our ship. That's our only way out of here. On the tour. Get right, on me. On. So you're all hopping on. Portal. Ride me, on. lads. Okay, right. So you're going to push off and try and get down this hill. Right, constitution check, two dexterity checks. Dex saves, okay. I imagine. Well, yeah. who's, Sorry, who's saves, who's yeah. Che checks or okay, saves. Okay, constitution check, I'm plus uh, two. Apparently. That's five. <laughs> so seven. Oh, it's five, six, seven, yeah, okay. Yeah, you, you two. Uh, that's a 14 on my dex. Uh, okay, that's fine. Uh, I hold on. <laughs> oh, nice. 20. Okay, okay. 16. That's you both 18, hold on 18, fine. 20. Uh, and, and as you push and slide like a bobsled, Kapipi, you, three, two, one, you guys jump on, push him as you go, Let's and go. he begins to slide. He's sliding down this hill now. <laughs> However, <sighs> he's not quite got the angle, he's not sat quite on the ground, he hasn't pulled his leg in. And as he's going down, he skins his knee just oh, as he starts. Guys. Takes three HP of damage. You're sliding okay. down, you've done the first sort of 50 to 100 feet, you're really picking up movement now. You guys, I need you to do an acrobatics check to pull the shell left to bring him round the curve okay. and down. Okay. Well, three! Kapipi, I need you to do another constitution check. 11 plus two, so 13. Yep, together you guys pull it round. You manage to right make the corner. To the right click. <laughs> you see a couple of the monkeys are actually awake now, just like <laughs> As you go <laughs> Oh, they're the ones that I'd put to sleep previously. Yeah, now, now they're, they're <laughs> mixed because they haven't had dinner. They've had to spend the whole night on the island. They're like, <laughs> it gets cold. <laughs> Um, we infer. <laughs> yeah. uh, did you roll a constitution check? No, no, no. 
Uh, that is 12 plus, uh, what was two? it again, two. two, yeah. Yep, you pass. It's okay, right, you managed to drag that leg in now. It's a bit sore, but you're going We're away Stay now, Stay popped in, Kapipi! <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, um, you're coming up to the next corner. Another acrobatics check. All right, more steering. Ooh, 20 again. Wow. I'm bloody good at steering at all. 10. It's okay, because you got, together you managed to do it. You pull, you're ah. heaving, you guys are like, Holding onto one side, levering your legs right out like you're standing on the edge of a yacht doing a big turn, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. hope the shoulders that snap. And you make the last corner. You guys are moving with some real pace now. I mean, you're going down this hill. The shell is beginning to heat up. Make another constitution check with disadvantage. <laughs> Friction burns. Oh, I'm, I'm, cooking. Getting, I'm getting a bit warm. The delicious here. smell from breakfast Ooh. is starting to drift up again. God, that's Unnatural hungry. 20. Unnatural 20, excellent. Well, you hit a bump, okay? Kapipi lifts off the ground, Whoa! and Whoa! as he lifts, he comes out of his shell, grabs you guys, goes around onto his back, and puts you onto his chest. So now he's <laughs> he's sliding on his back. You guys are like clambering onto his chest, like really close to his face, really coming down, oh, and um, sorry, and then the ground starts to even out as you um, come off of the little loose cobbles and into sort of like a sand trap kind of style thing where you. Slow to a safe stop. I can't believe that actually worked. That's pretty badass, right? Yeah. You've oh, now only got maybe a hundred feet to the beach. All right, I'm going to jump right. off Kapipi and start okay. running, but loading a musket at the same oh, time. Always loading a musket. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. Musket. Uh, I, all I have is spells. I'm running with him. Okay, as you uh, as you do this, um, you see a bright blast of light um, as a firebolt streaks out from the hillside behind you, the edge of the hillside, um, and it goes straight through. Uh, one of the ropes on one of the Corsair sh ships. So their like main uh, sail, just the, the, the ropes are sending it snap. And it just <laughs> drops down onto the um, onto the, the deck of the ship. And they're like, whoa, what was that? Oh God, nice. whoa, ding ding. And then a bell starts going off. Um, and then you see like another few more firebolts fire following up from an area up behind you on the hill that you presume is Periwinkle now. Is it it's got to be Winkle! Winkle's saving the day! Winkle's saving the day. Right, so as they're doing this, um, they're starting to take everything they can, valuables-wise, of your ship. They've, they're starting to hack the rope of the anchor as well, because the anchor won't Sons come up of without the crew helping. But they can just hack the anchor off and try and tow the ship out. Can we count how many are uh, out? So what, in terms of the crew? Can we see so there here? are two ships, and they both have a crew of about eight to ten people each. Oh, okay. Yeah, Mess. so this is... Four of us. It's a decent raiding party. I mean, Periwinkle is a, a very powerful wizard, so she could probably deal with them if she can get into position fast enough. But they're already, you know, looking. They haven't put their set. They, they weren't using anchors because they like to be able to move quickly. So they're already looking to retreat and get away. They run rather than fight when they can. I've got expeditious retreat, yep. which allows me to dash as a bonus action. Mm -hmm. So I'm going twice as fast, really and I still get to do something as well. Okay, great. You burst out of the tree line and onto the beach. Boom, I'm here, bitches! The rowboat that you landed on is still there on the beach, and they're a couple of hundred um, yards out. Uh, you can try and hit them in the musket. It's quite a long way. I'm still um, 100 feet, am I? Uh, well, I think when... when Titus was trying to shoot the tree line from the the crow's nest. It was about 200 yards, which is about the maximum range for a rifle, which is what he was using. You've got a musket, which isn't as good as a rifle. Um, so you can try and I'm make it. I'm not going to try and musket. Uh, I'll uh, keep that one loaded yeah. and ready to go for when I get close enough. Mm -hmm. But for now, if I'm not even close to like 60 foot of range, I'm just going to keep dashing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, the, I'd say that the, the ships at this point, the nearest ship has drifted into about 200 feet off the shore. Okay. So you've got to, you've got to, because these, it's a beach and these are deep drafted ships. You need to use the rowboat or something, some way to bridge that distance. Okay. Um, Guy, you two, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm running, toward, I'm running with him. Okay. I think, so yeah. you catch up to him. Um, he's already halfway down the beach at this point. Um, you need to decide what you're going to do. So you see um, the crew are already still struggling. They haven't hacked through that, uh, that anchor yet. Um, and some of them are made off with some of the stuff. We're going to shout back at these two. Just try and sabotage their ships. Stop them getting away. Okay. You're not an initiative yet, so what do you do? You keep describing what you're doing. Well, try to sabotage their ships. Have we we burn. came off our boat on a row. Yeah, right, didn't we? we could get in that boat we get and on row the, back because I can't it. swim back. Yeah, I'll yeah. prepare the rowboat because I'll probably get there first, right? Okay, right. And so then... sword, um, come on, come on. Hurriedly jump, 
sees the boat, starts pushing it back down the, the sand into the water. He's getting the oars ready. He's throwing everything in. Uh, at the moment, all of your goods and stuff, obviously the mankeys, the, all of that stuff is still safely up on the top of the hill there. Okay. Um, as you're doing this, um, a hail of magical darts flies over your head. So three of them just like, you barely even notice them. These really quick over your head as you look back and the guy that's trying to hack the anchor off of your boat just takes three magical darts to the chest and just and then falls off of the side and into the ocean. You're messing uh, with the wrong wizard. <laughs> exactly. Oh uh, and um, uh, right, okay. So you guys make it down to the boat. So we're in the boat. Oh, do we you get can't make it. Swords are pushed out into the, the water. Out, so I will just get onto the oars, ready to row us. Yeah. Okay, so you're in. Swords holding the front of the rowboat. Kapipi's climbed in. He's got onto the oars. You follow him. Just get me within right. 60 feet of like the deck. Okay, so you push, jump into the front of the boat as you do it. Kapipi's rowing away. I'm rowing. Kapipi, give me a strength check. You could probably firebolt one of their sails. Uh, that's a seven plus one. Does anybody want to help Kapipi with the oars? Oh, yeah. I'm prepared. You're to. ready. Do you want to help him? Do you want to get on the other oar? Yeah, I can help him with give the oars. Yeah, we're trying to go. Yeah. That's uh, oh, is that an eight? And what would I put that with? Strength. Strength. It's a zero. Zero. Okay, it's right. Not, so you go. They're rowing, oh. but you're getting kind of frustrated because they're like, which way are you going? Ugh, you're like trying to get a, a mark with your musket, or you got your musket out at this point, or not? No, you're no, just, you just you want to get closer and closer. So I'm uh, getting out a, like a little vial from one of my okay. things, and it looks like just a vat of oil in there. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, I need to get a little bit closer, boys. Just right, you're, you're within you're within everything 60 into it. feet now. You're coming okay. in close. You're 60 feet away. We're gonna lob this over on. You it's can see people along the banisters. Two or three of the corsairs are looking over, like. They're coming, they're coming. So you throw one at one of them or yeah, in their I'm area? I'm arcing a vial of grease, the right. grease spell. Yep. So base is going to turn a 10 foot square centered on a point. So I'm going to aim for as many of them as I can mm -hmm. to make it slick as hell. Okay. And they have to make a deck saving throw or like slip over. Is and that grease flammable? Probably. Is that on our own ship? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm trying to stop them from like right. getting off. So they have to make a dexterity saving throw. I'm trying to stop them escaping. Right, okay. What's yes. the DC? 13. One of them succeeds. He, the one that sees you, and he's like, "Oh no, it's coming!" He sees the thing, but he just runs, like runs back towards the back of the ship. His two mates that are like coming out of the, you know, the front hole in, in, in the uh, that took you down into the cargo hold. Yeah. They're climbing out of there. One of them's got the chest with the frog in. The other one's got like um, a bag of grain. Um, it just hits the guy square in the side of the head with the frog. Right. <laughs> Ooh. The, the grease goes all over him, cascades all over him, all over the top of the deck, and the, the, the frog chest he was carrying, still locked, clatters to the floor and rolls to the side of the deck somewhere. Um, you can't see too much of this because you're below them, but you can tell that, it's, that. You, you saw the guy get hit in the side of the head over the side of the banister, and you know it's splashed everywhere. Right, it's slick up there, boys, but that uh, could make it easier for us to get him. I'm gonna go for an acid attack. Okay. <laughs> God, this guy's getting all the fluids. <laughs> I, won the, I won the hip, I won the toad. So I want the guy who's holding the toad. I'm That's already try. dropped. He's dropped, He's dropped to the, the side. Toad. Okay. That's well, over on the side of the deck somewhere. The nearest guy then. I'm going okay, yep. to fire a chromatic orb in okay. his direction. Plus five then to this um, roll. Do I need to? Is this? Yeah, it's that to hit first. So this first. to hit first. Okay. So when they well, grease bomb hit them oh, initially, right. they were like ten uh, and 15. fifteen. Yeah, that hits. Nice. Got him! So, so initially he's acid, bro. So what does it look like when you fire it up there? Uh, it's it's kind of spunks out like a like a big kind of furl of almost watery acid, kind of greenish. And it'll splash him in, right in the face and kind of just rain down him and melt his, his, his face. How much goes, damage does it do? Ah! I guess. Uh, just click the thing next to it. Initially, they were hit with what they were, thought was a worrying liquid, and they were like, oh, I'm yeah. okay. And then immediately spotted up with acid. 12 damage. 12 damage, great. He's get, his eyes are melting, I imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That kills him. Um, so, yeah. so he gets hit in the head. Yes. Yes. Jones oh my God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you hit him in the head, and he's just like. <laughs> trying to awe as well. First of all, it's grease, and he's like, ah. What the fuck? And he sees, oh no, the frog. And then he looks left again and there's <laughs> acid this time. <laughs> it's acid! Oh, it's acid, bro! Oh! <laughs> and then he falls towards you off the banister. Don't fuck with and the just, frog! <laughs> and into the water. And um, oh, nice. it's just like a mess, a brown, organy mess just appears in the water beneath you. And lots of little fish just come up and start. Oh, yummy. Ah. So it's many. feeding time. Yeah, okay, so you guys are like against the hull of the ship now, right? So you they're can- like the rope ladder? Or they, they're, 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 yeah, there's a few ropes either side, front and back that they've used to like, you, you can try and climb up one of them. You need a, give me an acrobatics check, whoever wants to climb them. Go on, Kapipi, get those oars oh, down. What you can do is take the rowboat round to the back of the ship and uh, where you can, Hoist one of you can up. climb up and then 
hook up the ship and hoist it up if you want. It depends how much time you want to spend Not doing it. Time. No, I think we'll get on there. So you want to try and climb up the anchor line essentially. I got a six plus a oh, whopping seven total. Seven total <laughs> plus one. These guys are rolling shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, yes. right, you, you, you try and you sort of get onto it, but then you rotate around the bottom and you're like, oh, just, just hanging on. You yeah. didn't make much, make, he make much headway. You swinging. Guys, he hold the boat steady. Right, what are you, um, just well, what are you guys doing? Just well, can people go up? Go start climbing. Is there, is there something that I can climb onto to get? Yeah, up well, you're, the ship? you're, the moment, you're trying to, so you're trying to use the ship's like anchor line to like climb up the front of the boat, essentially. So, we're at the so very you front. you come up to the front of the boat. So here's the front sitting here. The Corsair ships are behind it, slightly mm -hmm. further out to sea, and you come from the beach out towards the, the the clumsy goose, and you're at the front of the clumsy goose now. And you can try and climb up the anchor line. Okay, I'm gonna try it as well. Okay, Let's roll a um, strength or acrobatics, whichever is better. Really, I don't really mind. Uh, that's a Ooh. 16, plus my acrobatics is free. Okay, somehow, Sword, as you're hanging upside down on the rope where you've lost a bit of purchase, Kapipi's just making his way up this rope. Things are just dangling off, and you get clattered in the face by yeah. Lou a couple of times, and he's God. like, I'm going up, guys, I'm, I'm doing going it. Up. Right, you manage to get up the rope. All the way to you the top. You crest over to the front, okay? Now, give me a constitution check. Uh, two. <laughs> plus two. There's a guy waiting at the top with a musket, Clatters you in the face. Oh. Black flash. You fall backwards down into the water. <laughs> this is a familiar feeling to you. Uh, I can't swim. <laughs> oh, guys. You see, sword, <laughs> Titus, once again. Sword, you just see a shadow and then just a big splash. God and then sake. Titus, you kind of see what's happened here. He's been clatters in the face and he's gone backwards off the rope. Christ, can I pitch just as up? this happens, you hear a Heave the anchor! And they no, start no, don't pulling the anchor. the anchor up beneath you. Sword, you're getting like. Am I being lifted up? You're being lifted up, yeah, but the rope goes through like a little channel. Tiny hole. <laughs> so you need to kind of like oh, work out what you're going to do. Uh, <sighs> what do you guys want to do here? You'll need to do an acrobatics check once you get to the top. So yeah, um, I'll let Titus go first. Or maybe I should levitate you again. Bring you back out of the water and get you onto that, that I mean, deck. I'm useless down here unless you could pull me back onto the boat. I'm going to try and levitate him up to the deck so that he's just out of the water and safe. All right, whilst I'm sat on the boat, I'm going to try and I see him go down and immediately start levitating him up and go, fly, fly true to the deck. So you can be Ready? after a brief like, boom, I'm floating again, once again, another oh, familiar sensation. Yeah. It's party time. Okay, do you want to move him or do you want to move in any particular well, I don't direction? know if I can move him much. He can, 20 feet, really, isn't it? Yeah, I can move him forward. I just want to get above the deck. So he's on, he's, he's above the deck. Okay, so you're, you go so I just up, want to get him up, up, up the deck. Now you're drifting up above. Acrobatics check for this, uh, this. Yeah, what I'm going to try and do is grab onto the rope and try and plant my feet on the side of the ship and then use that to like throw myself yeah, I like up. It. Yeah. Um, so acrobatics. Same core strength. Yeah, Upper well. Upper body and core strength of this soldier is nuts. That's oh. a solid 12 right there. And that's it. <laughs> Just a plus one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. I can, however. I've got an ability, I think it's a hobgoblin ability, oh. called Saving Face. Not to show weakness in front of their allies, mm -hmm. because I've seen Kapipi like walk all over me, beat me in another race to the top. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to save face, fear of losing status. Uh, if I miss with an attack or fail an ability, I can gain a bonus to the roll equals to the number of allies I can see within 30 feet of me. Okay, so like plus three. Absolutely, that's enough actually. I was going to have you scrabble and like hold, so but this 14. is enough to pull yourself over. So in a, for a moment, you're <laughs> hanging by your fingertips and you're like, I am not losing to this bloody turtle again. <laughs> and you just use incredible upper body strength. <laughs> pull yourself up over the edge, get those arms straight and heave yourself over. <gasps> I'll flank over. I'm good, I'm good. I did it, see? I'm Look. good. Look at me. You stand up and there's grease all over the, the top. There's still, there's, there's the one guy that's fallen over, the other guy who got hit by the grease. Musket's getting equipped. He's, he's seen you two, what, he's got a floating turtle in his vision and a very determined hobgoblin has come over the front of the, of the ship. And he's like, oh, he's covered in grease still. And he's backing up to the center of the ship towards the back where his ships have like connected with it so he can board back. If you value your life, you'll tell the rest of your crew to stand down. They don't care about me. I'm just a cock in a machine. <laughs> you take the shot? Yeah. You take the okay, shot. roll it here. <laughs> Whoops! The mid speech. <laughs> Who are there? <laughs> I don't know how to, yeah, there's no initiative at the moment, so. That is an 11 plus a whopping um, three. 
14 okay. to hit. You hit him in the shoulder, it, it clips his shoulder, but because he's covered in grease, and because this is Hollywood physics. Well, that's actually 12 damage with the musket. Well, he's taken that. <laughs> oh, God, he's blown the shoulder, like his arm's blown off, basically. They're not then, gonna miss you. <laughs> the, the round goes through his shoulder in such a way that you take out all of the meat between his torso oh. and his arm. The arm drops off next to you as he just looks at you just like, drops to his knees and then from the shoulder point bursts into flames. Just oh ah! shit, the grease is flammable! And he's just, <laughs> he's screaming. I, I mean, barrel roll away from the grease. You, you, you roll out the way, okay. Yeah. yeah, the rest of the deck goes up. I hope it, you know what, a wizard! <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> Titus, you hear this screaming, and the, well, badass comment followed by screaming, um, and... Um, I was trying to all avoid the fire. Uh, <laughs> Kapipi, you're hovering above it. What, what do you want to do at this point? Well, I need to get up there. You do need to get up there. So I'm going to climb the rope that's still dangling down. The rope has come, has come up. They oh, raised, the they raised Is there the, anything the to climb? What's around me? There's more to the side. So on the edge of the boat, there's a couple of other ropes that are sort of dangling down. Round the back is where you dock the rowboat. Um, and around the, behind that, behind the ship, yeah. the ship's kind of side onto you, are the two Corsair ships that, that kind of like butted their noses. Are there any like, the ladders on the other side? Maybe I can. Yeah, you can go round. Jump can go around. Uh, offshore and yeah. then fly. Uh, exactly, fly you're an amazing it. swimmer. I can swim. Yeah, yeah, you're I'm really good. underneath and then try and grab a free ladder so Great. it's easier to climb. So you jump off the boat, the rowboat, swim underneath the hull. You see how deep it is. Barnacles. Needs a bit of a clean. <laughs> needs a bit of a clean, yeah. It does yeah. need a bloody Building clean. up some yeah. algae. Oh, we need to sort this out. Pressing and you matches. come up on the other side of the ship, which is between two other hulls. So as you look around, you've got the flat hull of the of the um, clumsy goose here, and then you've got the two other hulls, the, the noses of them, sort of like keeping them in like this. And you can climb up either onto their ship or onto your ship. It's up to you. There's rigging. Uh, I'm going to go onto our ship because I yep. think I've got a better vantage point, so I'm going to. Climb up. up. Yeah, Give me an acrobatics check. Oh, so eight, nine acrobatics. Strength is. That's a one, one, isn't it? Okay, you make your way up, but you don't do it. Is that one or seven? Uh, that was a one. Was that an actual one? one? one. Yeah. Oh god, I thought it was a seven. It's even worse. <laughs> the rigging Three. snaps. And you fall oh! down back into the warp. Fuck! You just wait until my two guys are in. I'm saying that to whoever's left. <laughs> <laughs> so there's at the back of the boat. There's a few people left, but between you and yeah, them is a can't. massive fire. So you can't really make it out. You hear that? It climbing. Yeah. And then I hear a splash. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, so Toss as Yank comes down. up, you feel a shudder as you realize that the, the, the Corsair ships are starting to drag the clumsy goose out into the sea. Oh, okay. You look back to the, wi um, the beach and you see Periwinkle sort of look a bit exhausted. She's like come down the side of a hill. She's thrown off a few spells, but she's just like, you're already 300 feet or so out to sea now, drifting, and she's just like, she doesn't know what to do. Shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and the Corsairs are dragging you and dragging you and dragging you. Further and further out, they have your ship. Uh, you need to, and anyone, your ship is on fire. Is the guy yeah. that uh, f initially threw me off, mm -hmm. is he the guy that died? Or, it was on uh, or is he still yes. there? Is yeah, he still yeah, there yeah, 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 yeah. Well, he's, one of the, he's the one that I think Trot, uh, saw I mean. hit, but that, it's, that's it's, who it's he is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is there anyone, um, because obviously I'm floating above the ship. Is there anyone that's aggroed by me at the moment? Mm, because I, no. I have a thing. They can't really see you because you're kind of hovering at the nose of the ship. Oh, am I not above and the level? You're above the ship. You're above the deck by a few feet, but not by much. So because who's on only, our deck at the moment? Nearly. You're hovering above the deck of the Clumsy Goose, the front right of the deck. And there's no one on it. There's a massive fire in the middle from where the grease bomb hit it, and it's now ignited, right? Sword is stood quite close to you also at the front. Behind the fire is the forecastle of the whole ship, which had, last time you saw, a senior looking officer and a few more scally sort of right. uh, corsairs. Um, and that's where we'll leave it for now. Oh, so that shit. is, oh, right. as, right. the sh as the boats are dra being dragged out by these two corsair ships being claimed, you've got Titus <laughs> in the ocean like, with a net on him trying to like, well not net, <laughs> the, the rigging has fallen off onto him so he's dealing with that. The people hovering there like not really know what to do and you're trying to see through the fire to spot who's moving around behind Terrence them. Terrence still the on my shoulder. Are. Huh? Terrence is still, still on my shoulder. Terrence is still on your shoulder. Uh, pretty wet. Yeah. yeah, yeah, pretty wet. He'll that's dry fun. off. He'll, he'll dry off. He'll dry off, bless him. But yeah, that, that's where we'll stop for now. Blimey. I've got okay, the next bit planned. Okay. Um, and it should be pretty interesting. So yeah. join us next time for episode three, part one of Booty. This has been the end of episode two, part two. We hope you've enjoyed it. 
We hope to see you next time. Anything from you lot? Just hoping you're having a great time. Yeah. And if you are, please subscribe. Indeed. And then consider yeah. looking at our Patreon if you'd like to support Booty specifically. That'd be much appreciated. Thank you very much. This any, show any may screen? already be available, but will eventually be available in podcast format. So check out your favorite podcast uh, suppliers to see when that starts to pop up. Check your um, dealers. We'll yeah. try and put all the links in the description. In the description. Thanks for watching, everybody, and see you next time on Booty High Seas Low Expectations. Bye. 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 Bye.